Hi, I'm Jilly and I work for Clever Touch. We've shown you previously the benefits of using Launcher. So you can have different profiles, multiple users all set up on the panels. I'm now going to show you how easy it is to create those profiles here. So I'm going to hop onto my laptop and show you how to create one from scratch. Now I'm on the laptop, I'm going to create. So I go into my interfaces, I can add a template that's originally there or I can create my own. So I'll give it a name and click save. Once I've got my template there, I can open up and insert an image. I need to go in and delete those existing ones. And then I can add my own background image that I have created previously. So once it's uploaded, I can click on finish. As it's still scrolling, click on it again, go into the cog at the top, and then I can say I want it to fit all and I can have it just appearing so it's not scrolling. And then all I need to do is use the nodes to adjust it to fit to the screen. And then lock the padlock so that's now fixed. Then I need to unlock it again, scroll to the end to get my apps, just create your zones. So you can see the APK file is now on. If I double click on that, I can then choose my app that I want to install and click save. So I've got one there, I can move it around. Then I need to repeat that process. So again, into the apps, create another zone, double click on it, choose another app. This time I've chosen Chrome and I'm just gonna choose a different background, a different image for that. So I've got an PNG file so it's got a transparent background on it so I don't get the white border around and then click save and again I will add a final app on here so again create another zone click save double click and this time I'm going to put files on and click on save now I can move these across and position them where I want to and then lock the padlock that will lock those in place then unlock it again because I want to add in some inputs this time going into inputs and I'll add an HDMI and just maneuver it pop it into place and then again I will go back into inputs and I will put in a USB-C input so this time the icon's not the one that I want I'll pop it there and I double click on it I can choose from the drop down list the USB-C and you can see that's changed it to the USB-C port and again I need to just lock on the padlock just to lock those items into place there as well and I'm happy with that. For apps I can go up into the apps department there at top corner I can choose additional apps by going into the Clever Store and um, there's lots in there to choose from you can click on those and those will all appear in your drop down app box there as well. Okay, so now that I've created um, my template and my profile on my laptop, I now need to get it up onto my panel um, so I can use it up there as well. So to do that, it's quite simple. I can go into my screens. I can click on my Clever Touch here. Go into um, the advanced settings. Make sure I have my multi-user on because I'm going to have multiple users assigned to it. And then I can click on Save. Now my panel will automatically change, but I also need to sign that to one of my users so they know which one is going to be used using that profile. So if I go back into my users down here, um, I'm going to assign user one with that demo content. So at the moment it doesn't have a launcher assigned. So if I go into demo and click save, I will then be able to add my user here as well. So let's have a look at what that looks like on the panel now. So go into user, pop in my password. Remember, if you don't want to be doing that, it's the board and you've got a numeric password, you can be using the remote control so people can't see the content you're popping on. So I might just take a little moment while those applications install. And as you can see, We've got all our applications there on for us. So we've got a basic whiteboard. So now when I go into that, I've got my basic whiteboard there. I can, when I click back home, I can go back to that panel. On here, we've got the two different launchers here. 
I want to be using this one at the moment just once because I just want to be changing between, but I've got my files and I can go in between my parts. So that's really how quick and easy it is to create your own launcher. Thank you.